Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to run different script files based on if the user is on desktop or mobile. We're gonna find out if they're desktop or mobile and then load one script file or load a different script file. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we have two different scripts on our server. We're going to load one script if we're on desktop. We're gonna load the other script if we're on mobile. Let's check out these scripts. They're super simple. This is just for an example. Here we have the hack27mobile.js file and it has some jQuery to add a class to our mobile text. And let's now go to the desktop.js file and it's some jQuery to add a class to our desktop text. So we are here on desktop and as I reload this page, it's going to be loading our desktop JavaScript file and it's going to be applying that class to our desktop text. And when I go down to mobile and I then go reload the page, I'm now a mobile user. We're gonna go and pull that mobile JavaScript file and it's going to be adding the class to our mobile text. Great. And if I were to go back out to our desktop size and give that page a reload, we're going to be pulling that desktop JavaScript file. So obviously you're not going to be having an entire file just for an add class method in jQuery. This would be great for maybe not loading a giant library on a mobile device when you may not be using that library on mobile or maybe you want a chat functionality only on desktop or a different one on only mobile and you can load or not load different scripts based on the user's browser size. This is awesome, super powerful, and it's going to keep your sites exactly how you want them. We're in Designer and we have a few classes added to text elements to make this hack example work. Please be mindful that this is very, very specific to this example walkthrough for the hack. You are most likely not going to be changing a piece of text based on mobile versus desktop. We could do that with CSS. But let's walk through this so you understand what's going on and how we are targeting these elements. First, we have hack27 desktop text class applied to this text element. And then we have the hack27 mobile text class applied to this element. And then we have our add-on class, the hack27 red class, which is going to apply a background color and a different text color. And as we saw in the live example, our JavaScript files are going to add this class to either the desktop text or the mobile text based on our screen size. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. First, we're going to run an if statement to check if the user's browser window is less than, equal to, or more than 991 pixels. This if statement is saying if the viewport width is less than or equal to 991 pixels, we're going to run this code, which is a load script file function, and we are going to use our mobile JavaScript file to load. And else, if the viewport is more than 991, we're going to go ahead and load our desktop script. So you can see here we have our desktop JavaScript file, mobile JavaScript file. You can put any script file in here and we are going to use our load script file function that we establish right here just below. Let's go over this. What we're essentially doing is building the structure of a script tag and we are going to append it or put it in the head of our site. So we are going to create a function called load script file and it's going to accept an SRC a source. 
And the source is what we are putting in right here. Then we're going to start building the element to put in the head. So we are going to create a script element and we are going to store that in a variable called script. And here you can see our script structure. We're going to add an attribute to our script structure. So we're taking the script that we just established and we're going to add an attribute. And that attribute is going to be type text JavaScript. And then we are going to add another attribute to our script, SRC. And that SRC is going to be the SRC that we feed it up here when we call it. So here we have our SRC. This is what we are feeding our load JavaScript file. And you can see up here when we're actually executing on this function, we are putting in our SRC as we are doing right here. Perfect. Now we have this nice full exact script tag, script file ready to go. Now let's go put it in the head of the site. So we're gonna take that same script, we're going to append to the head, and now it's in the head of the site. It could also be in the body of the site. We're gonna put it in the head. And we now have this full script structure. If you go and look in Inspector, it's going to look exactly like it would if you were to go and paste it directly into the head or directly into the body. Now, a little disclaimer here. Please, when you're using this, do a good check. Make sure that it is working. We have used this on client sites before. We've used this same type of mentality for other types of building structures and putting them in the head and building them in the body. But sometimes scripts require certain things. Maybe you are using a third party integration and it is not working with this method. If it's not, let us know. We'd love to have some type of update and make sure that we are supporting as many different types of scripts and functionalities and use cases that we possibly can. All right, have fun with this one. Load your scripts based on desktop or mobile and enjoy it. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.